What you looking at, Lulu? Tell me. <gasps> What's this? A locust. You guys want a size comparison? I mean, my hands are pretty small, but that's a pretty big insect. What? Do you want it? Oh no, is it infuriating? Mom was observing. Hello everyone. It was very cold overnight. We had a little bit of frost in the yard this morning. And it's Saturday, so there's no work. Okay, sometimes I work Saturdays. Today there's no work. So while Hubby's taking care of his fish tank, I thought I could do some garden work because we haven't done garden work in forever and the garden is looking a little bit overgrown. And the great thing about this is that it's South African winter, which means it's very sunny. And I get company of all of the cats because they also want to be outside in the sun. So I think this is just going to be a very short video of me doing garden work. And maybe hubby will join later and we can give you a tour of our little yard and what we've done with it since we moved in four or five years ago. Because it looked very different back then. So enjoy. Mommy! What's up? Sticking to the shade. What else we got? Back in there is Kebby, who just rolled in the dirt. Over here is Mrs. Lulu, who's hanging out with us today. Right behind me. Four shot and I'm going to remove all that stuff at the bottom and I'll give you the after shot. Right next so this is basically all cleaned up now I'm gonna move on to these rocks next it's going to take me a little longer because every plant in here is super spiky so I have to tread carefully as I go along or I will scratch myself up Are you helping, Luna? Why did we decide to put all of the pokey things in one area? It's the pokey area. It's this. also Sorry. grown around the wire. Yeah, which is why I'm trying to break it. Yeah. I have a knife. This goopy sap. Okay. This might be toxic. You may want to wash it and not lick it. Weird, stringy. Here, cut me. Whoa, don't actually cut me. Where are your roots? Oh, I didn't get the root. The root's back there. Ow! 
Well, I'm committed to hurting myself. I don't know why it's always the clumsy person who gets to climb into this pokey plant area. I was busy with other stuff. Last time you were not busy with other stuff and I did it. I think it's because I'm small and... Nimble like a mountain goat. <laughs> he says this ironically because my mother, being a good German, calls me Zickchen, which means little goat. It's kind of always been my nickname. That's just like in there. I think I'm gonna have to climb onto the wall, to be quite honest. I bet there's some really interesting creepy crawlies in here. Of course, we live in Africa. There's not at least one snake in this. I'd be surprised. Snake, maybe not, but... Maybe like a really cool big scorpion. I know we get the little ones. Don't mind having a big one somewhere. Hold this pokey bit out of my way. My parents watch this and tell me like, oh, you're doing everything wrong. Let them tell us that. And we'll be like, if you want to do it right, come and visit and do it yourselves. They were here for a month, no one did any garden work. My dad mowed the lawn like every... Okay, but mowing the lawn is not garden work. <laughs> mowing the lawn is just pushing. I hope he sees that. <laughs> I can mow the lawn, I've mowed the lawn. Doesn't involve climbing around pokey stuff. Ow! Ooh, that one was deep. Ow, that went straight through the glove as well. Oh, and it's itchy. Is it supposed to be itchy? Okay. Here, get up there. That used to be so convenient when there was a step in here. If you fall on your face, at least it'll be on video. Not as easy, that was the problem. Oh, God. And he's just filming this, waiting for me to fall on my face. I think I need the ladder. I don't think this chair is high enough for me to lift. No, I don't need Wouldn't have guessed that on my own. I'm touching it. Yeah, ours, the one on the other side, I mean. This is like wrapped in here. That's ours, the one that doesn't work. Yeah. Can you neighbor, if you're here, I'm not looking into your yard. Well, I am, but... Ooh! I just want to say, if I fall and die, you better get it on camera. It's recording. Oh my god, with a bang. Come on, Ivy. Stop fighting back. It's a cross. It's on his wall and it's climbing all the way over. I would not be surprised if the mouse came from up here and there's like a tunnel system. A nest? And a nest. Potentially other crap. Winter in South Africa when it's still boiling hot outside. Lovely. Stop creeping on the neighbors now. Neat. We have a situation. He captured it. It already looked like it was slightly uh, caught before. Oh no. Congratulations, we have a treat. Okay. Well, we Job. You are so brave. Do you want a treat? Yes, hold on. Lunchtime. Lunchtime. What are we having? Greek food. Healthy and delicious. I see you have company. Always. 
after that I eat alone I will feel very weird. Right, it's late afternoon, the sun is gone. I've put my jersey back on. And now I'm just going to walk you through what we've done in the yard since we, we moved in here and just explain what we used to be there and what we have now. So you can see how we've improved things and we're trying to be all, well, not self-sustaining, but we're trying to have a lot of fruit trees and vegetable things and we're slowly building up to that so that we can have at least some of our food grown in our yard. So let's see what we did. All right, so ignore all of the weeds that are growing here. I still need to clean that. Um, so in this spot, we the previous one had lots of daisies, but they were quite overgrown. So, and my mom is a big fan of roses. So we put on some roses. We have one tall white one, two shorter reds and another tall white. Um, this one, we unfortunately, the first one we put there um, got ripped out during a storm. So we had to replace it. So it's not quite as big as the other one. And all of these will need to be cut back in spring and maybe we'll do a follow-up video then. Then all along this wall, which is where we like to have our bries, which is our barbecues, um, we have some lavender. And this actually just used to be like some kind of... <laughs> it used to be some kind of like ground cover, but it was like this purplish plant and it was growing all over and it was really thick. And it wasn't very good looking. Um, so we thought it would be very nice for bees and for the wildlife and so on. I mean, as much as insect life, let's say, to add some lavender because lavender is super popular for bees. So we put three little bushes and have already grown quite big. We just have like one little gap here. And I actually think that the cats keep causing that because they're always like lying there. Then in this corner we have our apricot tree. So this tree with our special little bird in it is about three years old now. And since I think the second year we've had it, we have had about, I would say probably about two to three kilos of <laughs> um, apricots every year. So I use them to make jam and we give them to our neighbors and we hand it out as gifts and everything because we can't actually get through all of them. Then continuing on, we have our little herb garden, which again is very overgrown at the moment because we are just not as pedantic in winter because it's just so cold and we have so little sunshine in, in during the day that it's very difficult to actually get garden work done. And we do all of it ourselves, so it has been a bit of an issue at the moment. So I have some catnip, some vervain, um, some basil, which obviously in winter now are looking very unhappy, but they will come back in summer. We have a little rosemary bush, that one's quite new. And then we have the slightly bigger one. We have two different types of thyme, which are going to be a pain to clean up because the grass is like grown into it some sage, chilies, and then one of my mom's favorite, this is a jasmine bush. So that one, when it gets its flowers, it smells incredibly strong, um, which is not great for me because I actually get hay fever from it, but it's really lovely and it's right by where we sit. So the smell like wafts up there and it's really beautiful and it has lovely little white flowers. Then this, stick looking thing is on your cherry tree which we just added recently obviously not in winter we added it just at the end of summer and hopefully it will grow as big as the apricot and then we'll have some cherries it is self-pollinating as well and it is a dwarfed um, variety so hopefully it won't get too big and let's see if it takes i'm very excited about this one i saw it in the store well in the garden center and I immediately like bought it on the spot because I was like, I need to have a cherry. Then again, I'm a big fan of flowers and trying to get lots of different flowers for bees and so on to come. 
So these are just, I have no idea what these are called. Maybe the husband remembers and he can just add it in a post. Um, so we have these that have flowers and then this is one of my favorite bushes. I actually thought this was going to be like a little wild grass situation because that's what it looked like in the garden center and it was one little plant I bought and in like a year it has grown so big and I keep cutting it back and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger which I guess it's what it's supposed to do and it has these really beautiful pink flowers if I can focus on one and it's super popular with the bees and we even had some spiders that um, we have these white spiders that change color that then lie within the the flowers turn pink and catch the bees when they come to pollinate and eat so it's one of my absolute favorites and it does need to be cut back because right now i can barely get to the pool or past the pool then this has nothing at the moment because we're having some issues with this wall we're going to fix that and we still want to build a little bit of a heidi like a little bit of screen wooden screen to hide the generator and the pool pump because it's not looking so great in the corner right now and then i'm thinking maybe more of these along here would probably be great then this is our little extra barbecue because the one on our veranda is actually gas and the husband loves to work with fire of course like all men um, so we do have uh, an option here if he wants to go really the caveman way he can build a fire and we can do the steak the right way and then we're coming into our little spiky corner. Um, so this was actually completely open originally, I think, except for obviously this plant, which has always been there. Um, but I think that was pretty much the only one. And my little brother actually, while he visited, um, he said it would be so nice if at the bottom of the yard we had like a little place for him to to chill with his friends when they come and visit him while he's here and so we're like we could do like a little fire pit thing so we built this little area and we decided it would be a great spot <laughs> luna's following me around a great spot to put all of our little spiky plants so we added all of those and we moved all of the rocks which used to be along the back wall and my brother and husband with great difficulty moved all of the rocks down here and piled them up and so we have our little fire pit area back here which is looking real great we are still looking at buying little folding chairs or something that are more comfortable so that this um, furniture which is actually my breakfast furniture can go back um, by the front door so that I can have breakfast in the sun then this little tree is a nectarine I believe and it's about right new memory card because apparently I ran out of space um, so this is a nectarine we got that about a year ago um, and it did have two really small nectarines this uh, this season and we're gonna cut it back quite heavily in spring and hopefully it will come back and grow some more this year and then these two guys are new um, it's a bush called sagewood and it's called that because it actually looks a lot like sage when you look at the leaves they're kind of fluffy um, and it's a local plant so it's going to grow really well in South Africa and it gets really really bushy and lovely and hopefully will hide some of this wall and it gets some really lovely little white flowers as well Then we have this guy, which is one of my husband's favorites. I'm not going to pretend that I know what it's called. He will add that in post again. And they get these really awesome looking flowers. And we actually have birds that come and drink out of them as well. And then we have our giant, the bane of my husband's life, the giant tree which was here when we moved in and it's really lovely because it has these helicopter things so once a season it loses those and they tend to block the pool cleaner 
and then later it loses its leaves and then it's just all over the garden. So every season, and it has uh, little yellow flowers that it likes to leave, lose as well. So I feel like every season there's something else that this tree drops and Hubby would sometimes think about getting rid of it, but I just, we just can't. I mean, look at how magnificent this thing is. It's gorgeous. Little garden shed. And we have our compost heap, which obviously you guys don't really need to see, but that's where everything edible goes. And then we reuse that soil in the yard itself. This is one of my father-in-law's favorite plants, which again, I should be able to name, but I can't. And that gets really lovely, like lantern type um, flowers as well, once it's grown up. Um, so we're gonna have lots of color in our yard. And last but not least, we have something that you will not see now. We'll have to redo this video in spring. This is a grape. And in spring and summer, it is all along this wall. So we'll just tie it up. And we had grapes the last two seasons and the birds always get to them before us. So we have not tasted our own grapes yet. And right underneath the grape, we have a whole bunch of strawberries which I will clean up next weekend because they're looking terrible. And that is our yard at the moment. With a lovely little pool. And a husband. <laughs> and that's our yard. Um, if you guys know anything about gardens or have any comments that you'd like to leave us, of what we should do next. Um, we know we're lacking in vegetables. The vegetable patch is a work in progress, but obviously we can only <laughs> do that in spring. Come do that behind me. Whee! <laughs> that is the husband um, mistreating our poor cats. You're showing the people our weed plots. I did not. I casually left that out because they shouldn't be there. Um, and yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, keep sharing with your friends, your family and so on so we can keep growing our little family. And if you have any questions about South Africa that we can enlighten you and do videos on something you'd really like to see, let us know and then maybe we can get to it. Thanks so much for tagging along and see you in the next one. Bye!